And this video is part of the elementary skills playlist on this channel. It's linked to in the description down below. If you want to up your elementary skills, make sure you check out that playlist. And if you have any questions or comments about this video, please leave them down below as well. I try to answer them the best I can. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. We will help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your customers, and for your business. And if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. Now let's get started. To add anything sticky, we first have to find a place where we can add it. For a button, we're going to add it to a column. Let's go down to this column right here where there's nothing. And the column needs to be high enough where when you scroll, the button can follow you down. So let's add the button. Put it right there. And we can see there's enough space that when we scroll, the button can follow us down. And if it doesn't end up being at the top of the column, click on the column settings and change this from default, which will put it right in the middle where it quite often is. Change the vertical line to top and then it'll be at the top. You can change the button styling as you always can. I'm just going to change the color to make it a little more apparent, a little more visible while we're working on it. Let's just make it red and the font color white. Okay, now when we scroll, the button stays there. We want it to follow us down in this specific column. So let's do that by going to advanced, going to motion effects, and turning sticky to top. And now when I scroll, it follows us down, but it keeps going right out of the column and it follows us down all the way down the page. Maybe that's what you want, but maybe it isn't. If you don't want that, make sure you check or turn on the toggle for stay in column. Now when I scroll, it's gonna stay in the column. So that's fantastic. You can also have an offset so it's not squished right to the very top of the browser. Let's make it an offset of 30. Now if I scroll down, we see we have a gap of 30 pixels, follows us down, and Bob's your uncle, you now have a sticky button that stays within that column. If this column is taller, then the button will scroll down farther. It's as simple as that. And this is different from a fixed button. A fixed button is one that is on the page all the time. So you scroll through the entire website and a fixed button will be somewhere on the page all the time. I have that in a different tutorial on this channel, in this playlist actually. So make sure you look through all the videos on this playlist if you wanna do a fixed button instead of a sticky button like we have here. This Elementor video is part of my Elementor skills playlist where we cover lots of the basics in Elementor to help you get up and running with Elementor as fast as possible. If you wanna check out that playlist, it's a link to in the description down below and probably in a card up above somewhere during this video. So check out that playlist if you wanna level up your Elementor skills. And if you don't have Elementor Pro yet, click the link in the description down below to get yourself a copy. It is an affiliate link, so if you buy through that link, I do get a commission, and it does not make it more expensive for you. It's just that Elementor shares that referral income with me, and that's what helps me keep making these videos for free and putting them up on YouTube so you can get better at WordPress and Elementor. So if you buy through that link down below, I really appreciate it. And next up, check out the Elementor Skills playlist right here, which I referenced throughout this video. If you watch those videos, your Elementor skills will be increased. So if you want to get better, watch that playlist. And if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. My name is Bjorn Alpass from WP Learning Lab. Till next time, keep crushing it, and I will see you in the next video.